And that would spur the economy because I think we're kind of in a recession right now. It's a low level recession, but we were negative growth last quarter. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mark Loeffler Experience. Today I'm gonna to talk about how we're gonna, well, not how we're going to fix inflation in Canada because I think our evil overlords in, in Ottawa won't wanna do this. And this may not be politically correct. I've already started off saying our evil overlords, you know, our evil dictatorship in uh, Ottawa. And I don't try not to get political on this, but let's just look at the numbers. How can we fix inflation in Canada tomorrow, right? How do we do that? What's one thing that's driving up the cost of everything right now? And this may not be politically correct, but if we got rid of the carbon tax right now, uh, it depends on which report you're looking at, but it will lower inflation by half a percent. But I'm gonna go through some of those articles that, uh, you know, have said that, uh, yeah, you know, 2.2%, 0.5%. But I'm just looking at this and gas right now in Ontario is 157. Uh, the federal carbon tax makes up 14.31 cents per liter of that. So 14 point, so almost 10%, 9%, right? Do you know what they do on that too? Yeah, yeah. They charge us HST. So let's just add another 13% on that. So what's that? Another 1.5, 1.6 cents. So we're at 16, almost 16 cents a liter right now. So if they just took off carbon tax, our fuel would be 140-ish a liter in Ontario right now. And what does that do? Well, I mean, the food that we grow fertilizer, um, the diesel that they pay to, to do it, the transportation costs, you know, they store it in a facility that they either heat or cool, which natural gas, right? We pay carbon tax on that too. You know, it's just, we're fighting inflation. So the two things that are really causing inflation right now are gas prices and housing costs. And housing costs keep going up because they keep raising interest rates and gas prices keep going up because we keep taxing it to death. So if we just took off this tax, wouldn't you think that would fix, infl we, we wouldn't have to raise interest rates. Maybe we could even lower it and that would spur the economy because I think we're kind of in a recession right now. It's a low level recession, but we were negative growth last quarter. I think we're gonna come in at negative growth this quarter too. I mean, the fear index is out of this world right now. Like it's like there is major fear in the markets right now. I don't know. It, but we in Canada have to do our part to get to zero emissions because we do represent, what, 0 0.5, 0 0.75% of all emissions worldwide. Uh, so if everybody stopped driving and we, I don't even know how we do it, but apparently that would reduce it by 10, 20%. Listen, people don't drive less because gas prices are up, right? They do spend less money in other ways, which again, should reduce inflation because you know people have less money to go out to eat or to buy clothes or to do these other things. Therefore, prices should drop, right? I don't know. Guys, I just wanted to put this out there. Um, it's not insignificant is what I'm trying to say. I, I, I rack my brain about this and you know, I think we're gonna get another quarter point in um, before the end of the year. Let's call it, we're gonna get another quarter point before the end of the year. So let's, let's take this with a grain of salt, right? So CBC, I think we know who they support in the elections. So basically they're saying Pierre Polivier, not really, you know, um, they, they don't like him, let's just say. Uh, federal carbon tax boosted inflation by nearly half a percentage point. So that's just like, that's not even taking into account how it affects the food costs, how it affects our home heating costs, anything like that. Like, like that is, that's what people are costing for these things. It's not, it, it, the flow through in the economy isn't showing up here, right? So right now, if we're at 3%, that would lower, to 2.5, I think it's gonna be even higher because they're not taking into account those ancillary costs that it's driving up right now. Uh, and that's on CI CBC, right? Like this is their argument. They're saying, no, we're good. Like it's, we're not bad. I, they, it would lower our gas prices by 10, 12% right now. I know it's, that's like 10, $12 a fill on my vehicle right now. 
I know, I drive a truck. Sorry. Like that's, that's not insignificant. I know I've said it before, but you know, who you vote for matters right now. I used to think it doesn't, but we need a change here. We need somebody to come in and clean house. Um, we need to fix some shit up. Anyways, guys, comment down below. Am I right? Am I wrong? What else can we do to fix this? One swoop of a pen could fix it right now. Let me know. Talk to you guys all later.